Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we'll just have a brief uh, discussion about the Creo Sketch of Workbench and how to realize the tools here. <laughs> so I'll start with this. So as I said, I'll directly jump with uh, conceptual design that is rough sketch. So before proceeding further, I would like to just change the dimensions accordingly because it will create the use issue after creating each and everything. So first two sketches I will make as per my requirement and then I can go ahead with the uh, conceptual sketches as we can come across the required dimensions by just seeing this the top circles. So I'll just refer the uh, previous circles as a reference as you could see green uh, tab indicates the uh, circle equality. So once I select this, the same uh, diameter will be taken into account. So if I define the dimension to one diam uh, once a, a diameter of a circle, so everything will be equal. Everything will be changed accordingly. Okay. And now I just need to create the uh, two circles. Uh, multiply into six. Six positions actually. So this is the initial one. So here you can see I can snap the equal, which is dragging like this. The angles I can specify later. Actually, the sixty degrees angle. So here one and at the same time, the last one is here. This is okay. Uh, now I do need to create the uh, tangent arc to connect these uh, bottom circles accordingly. If you want, you can make the changes to the dimensions now itself. It should be radius 8 and this be radius 15, that is 30. Accordingly, all the two will change. Distance between these two should be 110. You can mention as it is not symmetric, you can define the dimension from the center axis that should be 110 by 2. Okay, fine. So, next, <coughs> you can utilize the tangent arc. Uh, I don't prefer here, it, it will work can simply use the field segment to remove this and go ahead with the arcs so that I can just create the arcs and then assign the geometry constraints that would be better for me okay so between these two and outside I'll just drag it like this the tangency geometry constraint I'll just snap it accordingly <laughs> yep this is fine And then finally, I do need to create the sketch. So I vitalize the line. So from here, I'll draw a straight line, go the sides. Okay. And then the circles to attach these two. Now vitalizing the geometric constraints and assign the tangencies. So you can select this and this should be tangent again both of these two and same here. That is already assigned. Now I'll trim unwanted stops. Here also the tangent is needed. Uh, yep, that is done. It is already assigned, you can just undo that one. Yeah. Now just uh, trim the uh, unwanted stops by using grid segment. Okay. And one more uh, line is here. We'll just remove that also. 
Iya. Dan Now to deal with the dimensions finally the arc dimension has been already mentioned that is 100 I'll add it radius 100 and then distance between these two should be 65 yep so we are almost there a uh, few uh, little things are remaining that is to trim the top circles as well as to adjust the dimensions so this should be eight and this one sixteen is more it should be eight actually one is diameter right one is radius right okay that's fine now I'll simply uh, add the angle so that I can just select this construction line mode so that you can just select the dimension and between these and this I'll define the angle as 60 degrees okay I can you can even cross it with the remaining angles for that I'll again add one more line like this yep uh, like this you can add the lines to defend the angles here so by using the dimensions you can even cross check the angle between these two uh, that is again same 120 shows so same thing with the others Sixty. Okay. Now shows the angle is fine. The last step is to trim the uh, unwanted edges here. You can even select the uh, delete segment to deal with this particular stuff. Yep. So you can simply select these all the unwanted edges. So once you are done with this your final sketch will be ready so this is how you need to deal with the uh, clear sketch of workbench which is quite easy uh, you just need to have a, a proper hands on on this uh, by just uh, repetitive practice you could able to attain it so if you want to come out here you can press the control Z and again you can select the same tool remove everything like this you can uh, hold the control or shift hold the control and drag the uh, mouse with holding the control sorry middle button will help you to handle remove that okay Yep, we are done with this all. So that's all about this particular session. Thank you. Stay tuned.